Members of Project Manager Positioning Navigation and Timing, or PMPNT, landed in Germany in early September with a mission. We're upgrading all of the GPS system. We'll, we're doing that with the Mounted Assured PNT system, or MAPS Generation 1. We're installing them on all these striker vehicles, and that'll give us a capability to operate in a denied and degraded GPS environment. MAPS is important to the soldier and units that it enables uh, them to shoot, move, and communicate. And the, and the key thing there is GPS. That gives us, hey, that's where the blue dot, where you're at on the map. With an anti-jam antenna, which is part of MAPS, as well as ED3, it enables us to, in a jammed environment, continue that access to GPS so we can continue to shoot, move, and communicate. We came in with a four-day install, and we're getting those down to within the same day types of installs. That's all by part. That's a product of the fact that we had soldiers involved in the development of those requirements in the, uh, in, in the install early on, instead of typically later in the process. So I think that's our first big success. And the fact that the, the equipping is going so smoothly, uh, you've got all, all the right folks here. You've got the instructors that are training the soldiers. You've got the folks from ATEC and the folks from SECOM, the sustainment folks, all working together uh, as one team to pull this, off, pull this equipping off uh, as quickly and as rapidly as we are. So I think that's some of the keys to the success. And again, my hat's off to the PM uh, and the PEO for, uh, for integrating and executing this so smoothly. PM, P and T work side by side with members of US Army Europe the Assured Positioning, Navigation, and Timing Cross-Functional Team, U.S. Army Training and Doctrine Command Capability Manager Tactical Radios, and the mechanics of the Rose Barracks Motor Pool. MAPS Gem 1 is one of the first Army Futures Command fielded systems, with the next generation of MAPS already on the way. With MAPS Gen 2, the team intends to improve upon the MAPS Gen 1 in capabilities, particularly in the areas of availability and integrity. I'm John Higgins, Program Executive Office, Intelligence, Electronic Warfare and Sensors, Public Affairs.